last minute order from my bestie. She's going to a My Chemical Romance concert, so obviously she has to come correct. And we are making a Panay Velour pair of bell bottoms. So, yeah, eat your heart out, Amazon. You guys are too slow, so she has to go to me. <laughs> so, the way that I look for fabrics, um, a little different than most. Obviously, you need to know where you're going, so know the difference between knits and solids. That would be knits and wovens. And all those fun things, but especially in here, what you want to look for, aside from just knitwear, is when you want like a good pair of like athletic leggings, or in her case, they're for a concert, but you still want them to have like the stretchy, fun capabilities, you want to make sure that you have performance fabric. So for her interior of her waistband, we got the, um, let's see here, it's a four-way stretch, and it's a quick dry polyester span like mix or whatever definitely gonna be awesome for all those sweaty times in the mosh pit and then of course the panay velvet she can't I mean she's not gonna be feeling <laughs> anything but overheated in those we'll see how this goes we're gonna go ahead and cut two yards just in case because she wants the giant bells and then for the waistband interior we're just gonna cut half a yard so it's actually a pretty affordable pair of pants in my opinion is a little pricey and since we're retailers we don't really need to be shopping at a retail store because it's more expensive than it should be um, but in quick little things like this it is best to just go to Joann's make sure you're pricing the product appropriately because I mean there's no way that I would usually pay 20 bucks a yard for anything <laughs> so um, in this case it's like kind of an overnight job like you know you just can you know tack on the fees associated with you having to pay more for your supplies um, some people are into it some people aren't and remember that if a person doesn't want to buy your goods because of price or whatever they're not your audience move on to the next one thing that can help with kind of the price of Joann's goods and things like that that you just have to kind of get anyway if you save your receipts appropriately have yourself signed up as an LLC or as a you know small business owner through your state you know as a retail merchant um, you can go ahead and write off that at the time of taxes so anything that you use to create your product so my fabric my scissors my thread that I buy within the you know calendar year that can be deductible so check with your score mentor or um, you know just kind of like your local state when it comes to those rules and yeah that's a great way to just kind of pay attention to you know what's a deduction what's not what can help you later what's a little expensive now When you do these fast custom orders, you have to be like just ready. So we scheduled it so that she could come early in the day so that she would have time to literally come get a fitting, get measured, then turn around, you know, do her appointment. She had a hair appointment, come back, do another fitting. Um, like you have to do fast paced, you know, and the first round of leggings weren't quite right. So basically the way that I do fittings is I will cut one leg, one waistband, and safety pin it all together for her to go ahead and try so that we get an idea of the fit. Um, it's not necessarily important on the details because you are able to figure out, okay, I need an extra inch here, less of an inch here, da 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 da. So we did that and she just hung out for like another 40 minutes and I was able to cut out a new legging 
um, half. And uh, we were able to figure out, like, how big of a bell she would like. So I was able to draft that while she was there, which was super handy. And now I'm back at Joanne's to grab a couple more yards so that we can get the fullness that she wants. And it's just one of those nice things. Like, if you are able to do custom, it's fun because you're able to get to know a client. You know, in this case, it's my best friend, so of course I'm going to... I'm stuck with her anyway. But uh, <laughs> when it comes to custom clients they're you know a lot more um like open to ideas like this and you should live close to some kind of like sewing location um if you don't have this stuff on hand naturally if you don't specifically work with like one type of client or one type of design or one like if you're not just a swimmer or designer or just this or that since it's what I do like 100% custom with my clients I'll do whatever they ask me to like as long as I like to do it. <laughs> so, um, in this particular case, I went in and, you know, was able to pick up everything I needed this morning. Um, so now all I have to do is pick up the extra yardage and I'll be able to finish these up tonight. All right, we're on day two of this adventure. This is a very chaotic project, which I didn't think it would be, but that's just like a lesson to all of us to like real realize that even if it sounds like a simple project, sometimes it won't be. So basically yesterday, I cut out one pant leg with the correct grain of the fabric and one pant leg with the opposite grain. Now that would not matter if it was a like plain weave, no print kind of fabric, but unfortunately I have a pile fabric, which is what we call velvets and velours and corduroys, that kind of thing. So. You don't notice it when you're cutting, but when you hold up the pieces, you notice that one will often look darker than the other. So in our case, since it's Panay Velour, we can see the texture very clearly on one side, and the side that I have the opposite direction is just like one matte black. So, lesson learned. <laughs> don't try to rush through all these things. And um, so yeah, I went to my local Joann's to go ahead and just get a couple more yards of fabric. Now we're up to six yards, guys. Uh, so I got a couple more yards of fabric. But when I got to the Joann's today at 1030, it, they were like, oh, well, we're closed because we don't have anyone to open the store. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I drove all the way across town another five miles to go to the other Joann's. Thank goodness they had what I needed. And, uh, yeah, this will be done in a couple hours because that's just how leggings are once you sew them. But it's just crazy to me how how wild this adventure has been with a simple, oh, it's no big deal kind of a project. This happens all the time, by the way. So just give yourself plenty of time to create, to pattern, to cut out, give yourself, you don't have to do extra fabric, but it is advisable to do like a muslin first, which is a practice uh, cut out of the garment when you do your fitting. I just happen to, you know, have the extra you know coupons or whatever around to just go ahead and cut out um, obviously that has its drawbacks 